Now the last video we looked at was looking at what the edit functions could do. I just want to take that a little bit further now and look at adding some more content, particularly some media to any of our posts. So if we come up here, we click on the add an attachment. You can see these icons appear. So we can add some kind of audio from our computer or from the internet. We can add a video file as well. We can also add a photograph or any kind of document. So let's have a look at looking at just two of those. We'll look first of all at uh, importing a video. And by clicking on the plus there, you'll see on the right hand side straight away, we've got this panel add an attachment. Now I can do one or two things with this. I can bring in a video from the web, which I'm going to do in just a moment, but equally I can choose a video in this case from my computer and simply drag it in and drop it in there. But for now, um, with the video example, let's put uh, a little, I've already got one lined up. I'm pasting a link from YouTube. I hit OK. It's already there. It takes a little while sometimes the first time to load up. This is actually one of my own videos, which is on the TES. It's free, so feel free to navigate to that and download it. But once we've said OK, now obviously it's, we're talking about raising confidence and self-efficacy. Oh, that's incorrectly spelt, so I need to change that. Good spot. Um, this video is not related to sports psychology or raising confidence. It's actually, as you can see, to do with carbohydrates. However, the point is that's how simple you import a video. And then once we've done that, this is what the user experience would look like. We can move it around. We can play with our canvas, our, our wall as much as we like, and then we can play it and it will play once it's loaded up in its own little post. And this is a simple drag and drop activity. It was quite fun. Um, or we can play it in. Now, remember we had that expand post, so I can press click on expand post and that will bring it up in a larger format for the viewer for the students for whoever's uh, using it to see and so that makes that really a nice feature next video I'll show you how you do exactly the same thing with photographs or images actually just before we go to the next video let me just quickly show you how you can delete that if you don't want it so we don't want to delete go there because that deletes the whole post so if we go to edit post and then you can see that I've got a across here remove attachment so I'm just going to click that and then away it's gone dead easy so that's nice and simple